Barefoot Resort and Golf is home to four championship courses. The Die Course, Norman Course, Fazio Course, and The Love Course. The Love Course was built by Davis Love III and is one of the most popular courses in town. When I ask people what their favorite course at Barefoot is, it's always The Love Course, hands down. One thing you're going to notice throughout the video are the size of the greens. Accurate approach shots are the name of the game when you play here. The first hole is a middle of the road par 4 with a raised green. The miss here is short right. Probably the most famous hole in the love course is the drivable 4th. Only playing 294 yards from the back, almost everyone gives this one a run. If you want to lay up off the tee, make sure you avoid the lone fairway bunker on the right. But I need to remind you, we're not playing basketball. No matter what you do off the tee, do whatever you have to do to avoid the hard shaped bunker and the ruins that surround the green. The number one handicap hole in the entire course is the mammoth fifth hole. Tee shots need to be done on the left side in order to have a clear shot into the green. A couple catch basins surround this small elevated green. You get another look at the ruins when you get to this green on the sixth hole. The ninth hole is a long par 3 with a force carry, but not to worry, there's a ton of room to miss around the screen. The tenth is a favorite of mine. It's not overly long, and you can get away with a long iron or hybrid off the tee. If you want to get aggressive, take a 3 or driver and leave yourself a much easier second shot. The eleventh is just a flip wedge to a green that seems like it's the size of a penny. The thirteenth is where the golf course gets really fun in my opinion. Playing less than 500 yards, this par 5 is a perfect start to this stretch. Tee shots on the left are safe, but leave a longer shot in. If you take on more of the creek, you can leave yourself a much shorter shot. I made birdie here last time, not to brag or anything. Please don't turn the video off, please. The 14th is my favorite hole in the course. You ever just want to stand on a tee box and just decide to send driver over something? Yeah, me too. If you do that here, make sure you send it right over the middle of that bunker. This will prevent you from ending up in the waste area near the path. On the approach, unless you're comfortable chipping off tight lies like me, don't end up here. 16 leaves you two options off the tee. It all depends on where the pin is. If you want to leave it up the right, avoid the water. Great advice, David. Good job. 18 is a brute of a par 5 that will more than likely require 3 shots. I know most of you don't miss wedge shots, but like if you do, make sure you miss short right. That's probably the best chance you have of getting it up and down. The love course can be summed up in one word for me. Lovely. See what I did there? Make sure you play here on your next Myrtle Beach golf trip.